practice through the course of the week? Well, I mean, even when you're not getting reps out there, you know, mental reps is a thing Coach Spags and Coach Merritt uh, kind of emphasize throughout the week. So if you're not a, um, which they do a good job in subbing people in and out, um, then you should be standing on the sidelines, you know, kind of just going through the motions. And that's what they look for in guys uh, while they're on the sideline. Josh, you guys, you guys like this going on the road thing to, to get to the Super Bowl? You know what? Um, I know usually it's been coming to Kansas City, um, and e even last year for me, all our playoff games are home. Uh, it's cool with me, you know. Um, I don't think any of us have a problem going anywhere and playing. But, um, you know, I'm sure the fans would much rather be in Kansas City. You guys have another second half where you allow seven points or less last, last week. What's been the biggest reason for that dominance in the second half? Well, just staying steadfast, as Coach Spags always says, um, things can happen in the first half um, that, you know, might not be ideal, but coming in and, and correcting them is the main focal point going into the locker room and just making those corrections and then fixing them and making sure those same accidents or you know mistakes don't happen again. You know, a lot of people talk about their, their rushing tank with the number one rushing team, but Lamar has improved as a passer. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got big play guys like Zay Flowers. What do you see from the passing game in preparation for Sunday? I think it's something that's uh, slept down. I think Lamar Jackson is a great passer, um, and I think that's something we'll have to take into account and absolutely will take into account. Um, as long, I mean, also with his legs, you know, he's a very dynamic player. And um, we're just going to have to stay disciplined with everything we do. Just like every week, you know, staying disciplined, making sure we're doing our due diligence and uh, playing our right to me. Everyone talks about, you know, secondary and the passing game, but just how much is, is secondary in the run game even more impactful in the playoffs? I think having uh, DBs like ourselves who do come and, and get into the run game and help tackle is a huge emphasis just throughout the season, especially in the um, postseason. Uh, a lot of times you see, you know, uh, big runs happen because of guys in the secondary not coming and getting the runner down. So um, throughout the week, you know, uh, we can't tackle during the week, but we do do, you know, fits and, and make sure we're putting ourselves in positions so in game we can make those tackles. Well, you were talking about those halftime adjustments. A few of the different defensive players we've asked about say, boy, at halftime, Spags and the coaching staff come in and they, they do make a lot of adjustments quickly. Mm -hmm. That sounds like that must be a busy halftime. What, what's it like when you guys come into the locker room at halftime and, and how do you get all that accomplished? Well, a lot of times um, us coming into the locker room is just us fixing mistakes. Um, never really just changing the whole defense. So it's things, uh, it's just us getting back to where we should be, you know, uh, right in the ship and making sure we're not making those same mistakes. Um, and if, you know, there are times where we have to make an adjustment or a tweak here or there, Coach does a good job of not making it, you know, a huge drastic tweak to where we're out there on the field thinking a whole bunch. Um, he keeps it pretty simple and helps us uh, play fast. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Appreciate it.